Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how to prepare sheets in Revit, how to set them up and how to put your drawings in the correct scale. And at the end I'll show you how to export everything into PDF so you can take it to the printer. First thing you need to do is you need to create a new layout. Now we're in the model and here we have layouts, you have model and we have two layouts. We're just going to create a new one. You just do it by clicking on this here new layout button. You can rename it by right clicking on it and just finding rename and call it, let's just call it new. I'm going to click on it and here we have our layout. Now we don't really know which size of a sheet this is and here we have a window inside of our drawing which we don't really need at this point so I'm just going to select it and delete it. Now we're going to set up the size of this sheet. I'm going to go up in this start menu find print page setup and here we have our page setup manager and here we have our new layout so I'm just going to go to modify and first under name here we have to just set up DWG to PDF this is best if you want to export it as PDF later now as paper size I'm going to use an A3 and portrait because I want these two floor plans to be one on top of each other so I'm just going to find ISO full bleed A3 which is over here and if you select the first one it will be landscape and if you select the second one it will be portrait you can manage that later over here but I prefer to do it over this and of course check here portrait as well now we have to customize the scale. Uh, here we have some fraction that we don't really need. For now on I'm just going to write it 1 millimeters equals 1 unit and that is wrong at the moment. This drawing is in centimeters and 1 millimeter is 0.1 centimeters or 10 millimeters is 1 unit or 1 centimeter. So just make sure that your units match. If it was in meters then I would have to write 1000 millimeters. Okay, now we've done the scale part. Now we need to set up the plot style. You need to open up this menu. If you choose none, all the colors will be preserved and you, you will have basically a colored uh, drawing. But if you find the gray scale, that will make sure that everything that's a darker color will be a darker gray and everything that's lighter color, like yellow for example, will be lighter gray. I prefer monochrome which basically means that everything is black and just check here display plot style so we can see in this layout view uh, your correct plot style for quality I'm going to leave it at normal I found that this works best you don't need to make it better and here we have just some options if you have any transparencies for example some hatch that's transparent you would want to check this but I don't so I'm just going to leave it checked off and that's everything so I'm just going to click OK and close this up so here we have a, a portrait A3 now we need to create a window inside of our model for both floor plans so I'm just going to go vports which is the command for viewports and because we're doing 2D drawings, I'm just going to leave it here at 2D. If you did 3D, you need to check 3D. And visual styles, I leave it at wireframe. Doesn't matter. When you're in 2D, it doesn't really matter at all. So I'm just going to go OK. And now we can create a window. So I'm just going to create one window on the upper half of this A3. Now we have our two floor plans. But we have a problem. We want this floor plan to be above and the other one to be below. So what do we do now? We're just going to select this one and copy it. I'm just going to use the copy command and just place it underneath. Okay, now that we have our two viewports on top of each other, we need to set up the scale. First we'll double click inside of this. You see now we're in paper, but if we double click inside, we'll be in model space. So now we can move around or zoom in or zoom out. If we zoom, it won't really be a correct precise scale. So in order to set that up correctly, 
you need to go here in this drop menu open it up and find your scale I'm just going to use 1 to 100 and now this is in perfect scale I like the position of this on paper so I'm just going to lock it in place with this here and I'm going to do the same thing for this lower one so I'm just going to double click place it over here open the drop menu set up the scale double click outside or click on this model to step out of it but first of course let's lock it in place and just hit model to escape and here we have some grid lines left over from this one and in this one we have some grid lines left over for that one in order to fix that we'll just move this a little bit like that and this over here now something that I don't like is these two rectangular rectangles I don't want to leave these rectangles over here so I'm just going to select both of them and now they're on just a random layer I'm going to put it on def points layer def points basically means it doesn't show up in printing if you don't have already a def points layer you just create it just name it def points and it will automatically not print so I have everything pretty much set up everything is in correct scale I'm just going to check to see if the line thicknesses are right so just check over here to show height line weight and when it's turned on you can see these lines are heavier than these for example same thing here okay that looks right and if you don't have this icon over here just open up this menu find it and just check this line weight once we've done that it's pretty much ready to export as PDF so I'm just going to go to start menu export PDF go to desktop and let's call it house PDF save and now we've exported it now you can see it's colored this lower floor plan is colored and this is just a problem with AutoCAD it sometimes messes up but this will not be colored when we export so when I open house you can see we have two floor plans on top of each other and those ugly rectangles we don't see them so that's pretty much it how you can create your sheets set up their size set up the correct scale and export to PDF thank you for watching please subscribe for daily videos like this video comment share and have a nice day.